Okay, we need you to sort out some of the details from last night as you are the only survivor. So we're going to need you to start from the beginning and tell us exactly what happened. I was going to a party with my friends at the old Jones house. Their grandson was about to sell the place and wanted to have one last party. And you know the history of that house, right? No. Should I? Fifteen years ago, the Jones family let their troubled nephew, Jim, come to live with them after he was released from the mental hospital. He killed animals as a kid and accidentally ran over someone when he was learning how to drive. He got let out and needed somewhere to stay. One night, he killed everyone that was in that house, disappeared, and hadn't been seen since. Until last night. I haven't heard about that before. I've been on the force for 15 years. Are you sure that's true? I think I would have heard about that. Yes, it's true. And the party was on the anniversary of the murders. Jim snuck in last night and started killing people. <clears throat> so you're telling me that uh, one guy killed 12 people at this party? And managed to throw four of them through windows that were 10 feet high. How'd he do that? I guess he had a catapult with him or something. Six of the dead bodies we found were having sex. Stabbed through the chest. What kind of party was this? It was just a party. What are you implying? Your boyfriend was found dead. But you weren't. Didn't you two have any alone time at this party? Well, I am a virgin. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can you explain why this knife, which was used to kill a number of your friends, only has your fingerprints on it and nobody else's? Jim was wearing a mask and gloves when he killed. I managed to fight him off and stab him with his own knife. You say you stabbed him 12 times and, and he was dead. Okay, when the officers arrived on the scene, there was no body, no pool of blood, only that knife and you outside. I already told you. I stabbed him and ran outside just as the cops pulled up. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> well, what you're telling me doesn't add up. Okay, it sounds like a bad slasher flick. I don't know. If a movie were made about her story, I'd kind of like to see it. Could make a decent horror flick. <laughs> Actually, this story will make a great movie.
I've not had a meaningful relationship in over three years. This is my life, and I'm so fucking bored. Oh, sorry, mate. Hey, that's right. Oh, I said I'm sorry. Yeah. Got more? Yeah. Clean bones. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Sorry, mate. I was miles away. Maybe off to dinner? Or something yeah. straight to bed? Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
excuse me, you made the mess, you clear it up. Actually, I think you'll find you're the one who made this mess. That's still up for debate. I seem to recall you were the, the first... The what? Huh? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bitch. Oh God, Rich, I've missed this. Jen, stop. Get off me. This isn't working anymore. Don't, don't you want me? No. I can't believe you're doing this. To me. To us. There is no us. There hasn't been for a long time. I make one small mistake which you forgave me for. But now nothing I do is good enough for you. You won't even fight for us. There's nothing to fight for. Maybe we should just accept what we've both known for a long time. Don't, don't care. Jen, it's, it's over. I can't believe I'm hearing this. You're so gutless, you won't even try. Jen. Don't! Don't touch me. I'm done. Jen. Jennifer. Don't Jennifer me. I hope you're happy here, alone, drinking yourself to death. In the morning, I'm gone! 